Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is CJ and I post makeup videos here on YouTube, which is what you are so kindly watching right now. Today is my, what's this month? January 2021 BoxyCharm unboxing. I actually just got this like two seconds ago and beautiful thing about being unemployed is I can just run in here and film. Yay. Okay. That was weird. I don't know why I did that. I'm so sorry. But anyway, so um, if you've never seen any of my BoxyCharm videos, um, I just posted one obviously last month. You get BoxyCharm every month. I go through the box with no makeup on. I see what's in the box, kind of give my mini little, am I excited? Am I not excited? And then whatever I can use on my face at that moment or at this moment, <laughs> I will put on my face. And then at the end, I will say what I think about the products that I use to give the prices of everything and say if I thought the box was worth it or not. So I hope you're excited. Let's just get into it. Yeah. Okay. So this is the bulk or I just showed you the box, but it is called Fresh Start. Oh, because it's the start of a new year. So it's super cute. Very pink, very pink. I didn't look at anything on the back because I like to be surprised if you're new here. All right. What's this? This just, okay. This is a brush by Persu. Sona Cosmetics. It's just one brush. Okay. Usually we get like brush sets or stuff. It's weird to get just like one brush, but it's super, oh, it's super soft too. It's super cute. I mean, it gives me total like KKW Kylie Cosmetics vibes, you know, but that's, if you can hear my dogs in the background as you always can, I apologize. My boyfriend is taking our puppy on a walk because our puppy is very un- socialized because we got her and then quarantine happened and so now she's terrified to go on walks so now we're taking on her like on multiple walks per day and our older dogs don't appreciate being left behind so that's what you'll hear if you hear it but anyway cute brush i like it it's dual sided i don't really like storing dual sided brushes but that's okay that's whatever all right so this is okay oh it's a eyeshadow palette by siate london it is the velvet palette that's cute. It's a 12 piece eyeshadow palette. I love the packaging. It's that like super soft touch. Oh, I love. Okay. Packaging A plus. This is so cute. And it's like super, super, it's like the same soft kind of metallic on the back. Oh, that's cute. That's different. Huh? I kind of really like that. Okay. That's cute. I mean, it's like, sorry, my light is so freaking bright should I like turn it down I don't know but that is so cute oh my god I love the colors in that that's I like it I like it a lot there's a few too many shimmers for my taste because I'm not a huge shimmery person but the shimmers look absolutely stunning so I'm really excited to play with that oh my god okay it's just called the velvet palette I said that already yeah it's a moisturizer by pharmacy oh okay oh that's actually dope okay it's the pharmacy daily greens oil-free gel moisturizer with moringa and papaya i don't know but i love okay so i use a gel moisturizer every day i use my neutrogena one and i love it so much but i'm excited that they give us gel ones because for me like people with like oily or leaning oily skin it works out really well that's usually better than like a really thick one especially for every day Okay, that is so cute. That is so cute. It looks like a little kiwi. Not really, but kinda. Oh, okay, well I already put, damn, I already put moisturizer. I can put it on a little bit more, that's okay. I'll put some more on in a minute. Okay, so the last two things. Okay, this is the Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. It is bee friendly, which is good, because bees are important. I'm about to sneeze. Okay, sorry for my face. I just had a little sneeze attack. That's cool. But the second to last thing in the box is this Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. It is bee friendly, which is good because bees are really important if you didn't know. And I love lip balms. Oh, that's cute packaging. Oh, goodness. That's like super cute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this on because I need lip balm right now. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, I like that. Smells really good. Feels really, really nice. Um, we'll see how it lasts, but that's cool. I like it. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. And then last is the Dr. Brandt D DNA, do not age, cute. Uh, it's the Triple Peptide Eye Cream. Wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness eye cream. So this is probably really expensive. I bet you this is probably like the seller of the palette, you know? 
and they give us eye creams all the time so that's what that looks like nice i like eye creams some of them i can't really tell the difference with but we'll see what i'll do is i guess i'm gonna go ahead and I'll, i'm gonna go ahead and apply that moisturizer and the eye cream just because i can so why not so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put the eye cream on first just so it penetrates deeper <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm just gonna take a little bit not much like that much oh what is that on my eye that's not cute has that been there the whole time and I kind of like just pat it you obviously when you put on eye cream or anything underneath your eyes you're gonna be super like delicate so just pat it you know any tugging will cause wrinkles and you know what I just realized this sweater and my nails are like so so I didn't plan that I'm just saying I'm just saying okay so I mean it's an eye cream you can't eye creams you gotta I mean you gotta use them a little bit to tell the difference so I'm not gonna rave or reject it quite yet and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this little pharmacy moisturizer I already put on moisturizer like a couple of hours ago and it was just my normal Neutrogena Hydra Boost one I was gonna take like the little bit that's off the cap and I hope I wonder if like the green will do anything for redness that'd be cool smells nice it smells very fragrance though so I don't know if you're into fragrances or not but I love gel moisturizers they're my favorite if you have like any sort of like leaning oily skin and even if not I feel like gel moisturizers are just so good for like during the day because you can feel the moisture but it's not like super heavy or anything and it does sink into the skin really quickly because it is a gel that made no s okay um I'm sorry this video is all over the place you guys so um, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made last video and do my face before I do my eyes so I'm gonna do my eyes first so I'm just gonna apply my um, just my elf camo concealer just a tiny tiny bit on my lids to cancel out any color and then I'm just gonna top that off with a little bit of my pretty vulgar eye base and like I said in my last BoxyCharm video where I got an eyeshadow palette, I am not going to like go step by step through everything because that just makes these videos so long and I know no one cares to like sit through all that. So I'm just going to do like a speed through of me using it and then I'll give my final thoughts at the end. I'm done finally it took me a lot longer than I thought it would but I went ahead and finished up my entire face I'll you know there's gonna be the whole montage of the eyeshadow I just put like a couple of the shadows on the lower lash line nothing fancy and then did mascara and my lip and then obviously the rest of my face so I did kind of want to though just for fun I did want to use okay first of all this eyeshadow palette a plus okay I'm not gonna even gonna lie I kind of I was not expecting to like it this much the shimmers I didn't even have to spray or wet or use like a glitter primer I just used my finger and I'm kind of obsessed not gonna lie I think I do kind of want to try this like super shimmery shade as a highlight like no lie just kind of for fun so I'm just gonna take this little bit of this little persona brush and just kind of barely tap it in there because this shade is super shimmery super pretty honestly and then I'm just gonna put it right I like that a lot actually okay 
All right, so I'm officially done with trying everything. I honestly really liked everything that I got and that I tried. I'm really excited about this box. So first of all, eyeshadow palette. I tried a few of the shades. I tried all of the mattes, and then I also tried these two shimmers, these two bottom shimmers, and then this one. And they're stunning. Oh, and I used the purple on my lower lash line a little bit. This is a stunning palette. I honestly did not think I was going to like this very, very much. We get a lot of Ciate London products in our boxes. And some of them I have really liked. Like their uh, Everyday Vacay Powder I love. Um, they gave us like a confetti highlighter that was way too dark for me to be like a highlight. But as a like eyeshadow, it's really pretty. But some of the stuff we've gotten from them like hasn't been great. I know I got like a liquid eyeshadow from them that I really didn't like. I posted that in a video not too long ago. I'll put it there. And so I'm kind of obsessed with this palette. I love the colors in this. I love pinky purples. People with hazel eyes, green eyes. I think this would be so but I think it would be so good. Oh my god, I love it. I love the packaging. I love how compact it is, but you do get a lot of product. And I do think, like, it's not the most, like, creative palette in the world, but I do think you can come up with so many good looks using these colors, and I just, I kind of love it, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. And it performed beautifully. I mean, I haven't seen mattes blend like that or shimmers be that initially pigmented like that in quite a while so I'm gonna give that an A plus as well as the lip balm I keep applying it so I put on like a little Sigma Beauty liquid lipstick but I put on a lip balm before and then a lip balm after because I hate liquid lipsticks but I felt like the color would be cute but I kind of love this lip balm as well so now I'm just gonna go through the prices of everything and say if I think it's worth it or not oh wait I don't even have my lips back in all right I feel like a very pale JLo-esque type of way right now. I don't hate it. Okay, so first things first is the eyeshadow palette. It's like $30. It's the Ciate London Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. Create molten metal and matte looks with this palette. Featuring a mix of hyper uh, metallic soft shimmers and velvety smooth mattes. This innovative powder formulization de delivers high pigment with a super soft application. I honestly, I like a lot of eyeshadow palettes that BoxyCharm gives us. But I don't typically like re like actively reach for them again. I love this thing. Okay, I'm not gonna harp on it anymore because I've already said my piece, but I love it. All right, so that moisturizer, the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer, is thirty eight dollars. That's not as bad as I thought it'd be. So very pricey for a moisturizer. But I know my Neutrogena one can like if you go to like the wrong drugstore to get it at you know if like you go to a walgreens instead of the cvs it's like 26 dollars instead of 18 dollars. so it's not much more than that but it's an oil free and silicone free daily moisturizer that delivers lightweight lasting hydration without leaving skin feeling greasy vegan cruelty free formula it contains hyaluronic acid and a blend of phytonutrients known to help clear pores and reduce shine i'm really I like, I mean, I liked it a lot. It's, pr I think it's scented. Is it scented? Um, it doesn't really say the ingredients. It just says what it's made without. So I don't know if it's fragrance. It did smell like it was fragrance. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, I just say fragrance a lot. Uh, maybe you wouldn't like this, but I really like it. I mean, I put it on after another moisturizer and then put stuff on and it didn't mess anything up. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I re I'm really excited to keep using this, honestly. Um, okay. That's... This is the one thing that I'm kind of just like, whatever. Okay, it's the Persona Cosmetics Power Brush. It's $24. Okay. Um, it is a multitasking dual ended best. Oh, it's your multitasking dual ended best friend. Sorry. This synthetic vegan brush allows you to highlight with one end and seamlessly apply your blush with the opposite end. Designed for powder and cream application. Um, I like it. I mean, it applied my blush well. It applied that highlight well, as you saw. Um, first of all, I'm not a huge dual-ended brush fan just because I do have a lot of makeup brushes. And you kind of lose track of, like, what's dual-ended or not. So, like, you'll put it in your little, 
you know thing you know like I have a little spinny thing and they have like two other things and so you'll put one part down and you'll forget that this part's on the other side so like you'll be like oh my god I, ha I know I have another highlighter brush but you can't find it because it's on the other side and it's like bur buried in there like how do people store these where you can actively see do you just like a drawer I've never really understood the dual I mean it's probably like far more cost effective for the brand but I just don't really I really don't like dual ended brushes but I will say I did like the highlight brush I did like the blush part it wasn't bad totally not worth $24 though sorry sorry okay I told you it wasn't I know I know when they put that stupid little expensive thing in there just be like oh look it's worth over $150 okay so this is worth $82 market value we'll see this is the Dr. Brandt do not age with Dr. Brandt triple peptide eye cream it's deeply hydrating peptide powered cream helps diminish all signs of aging around the delicate eye area cool including lines wrinkles dark circles and puffiness for refreshed younger looking eyes for all skin types i will say for boxycharm we get a lot of freaking expensive eye creams and i have never noticed a difference in my eye eye area it could be because i have a very young face i am 27 but I do, I mean, obviously, I, I mean, if you think so, but a lot of people think that I look far too young to be 27, but I am not, I am. But like, I have never in my life noticed a difference using eye creams, I guess. Maybe just I haven't used the right one or used it for long enough or like consistently enough. Maybe that's what the problem is. But I will say like, I do have pretty significant dark circles and like deep set eyes, you know, like right here always, no matter how much concealer, powder, whatever, you can always see that little dip right there. That's probably, I think it's just like my bones. I don't know, but I'm going to use it. I don't know, honestly, because I have so many other eye creams from BoxyCharm that are like super expensive. I might actually give this to my mom because she's been living in the hospital recently. So I might give this to her because $82 is pricey I'm just saying all right and so oh shut up okay this bali balm sweet orange and coconut lip balm is 33 dollars for a fucking lip balm are you serious i now regret using it three times in like an hour oh my god all right essential oils of okay first of all i don't want to be putting essential oils on my mouth that's not good essential oils of sweet orange and co and coconut give this lip balm it's a citrusy tropical aroma it does smell very good i will give it that and silky smooth consistency sweet orange is packed with vitamin c which is known to even skin skin tone and protect against free radicals why are you evening your skin tone on your lips can you do that I don't know. And coconut is a natural emollient that moisturizes for soft, supple lips. I'm not going to lie. I do really like this. And I'm probably going to use it to the bare bones because I do love how it smells. And I do really like the application because it's not like super thick or super greasy. It's just kind of like a really good moisturizing, good smelling thing to smack on your mouth when your mouth feels dry. So I am really excited to keep using this. But I will never in my life spend $33 on a lip balm. You can quote me. So yeah. That's the end of this video. Well, I feel like I'm so low. Ooh. All right, so that is the end of this video. Um, I actually, I'm, I might give this box like a B plus. I'm actually really excited about this box. Like I know last month was the Boxy Lux one. I gave it not a very good rating because I just, it was okay. But this one, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh I didn't do the math. Let me do the math. All right, so. Total of this box is $207. I paid $25 for it. So I'm honestly going to say that this box was worth it. Honestly, I, I mean, and I'm not going to say it's for one thing because I'm really excited about that pharmacy moisturizer. I We've gotten a pharmacy like that green tea cleaning thing. We got that and I was obsessed with that. Oh my gosh. So I do really like that brand, the pharmacy brand. So I'm ecstatic about that moisturizer i'm ecstatic about the eyeshadow palette i loved that thing oh my god and then um the brush whatever the uh eye cream 82 dollars. i'm gonna look like a really bomb ass daughter when i give that to my mom so i'm not mad at it and the uh lip balm 33 dollars. totally not worth 33 dollars, but i do love the lip balm so I think this box is actually really good. I'm really excited about this one. I'm really excited that like everything kind of matches and I'm just like such an aesthetic. 
yes and i hate myself for saying that whatever but anyway um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video uh if you get boxycharm what did you get in your box if you get boxycharm premium what did you get in your box i don't i'm unemployed so i can't do premium but i swear when i get a new job I'm I in that premium box, I swear to God. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I'll think about it. But anyway, um, yeah, just thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you got any of these products in your box, what did you think about them? If you got any other products in your box, what did you get? I love knowing. I hate being jealous, but I do love knowing. So, you know, it's always a fun time. But anyway, uh, again, I just, I already, I've said this like 5,000 times. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like it. Leave a comment down below. Just about whatever you want. Unless it's rude. I mean, it can be rude. If it's like constructive rude. You know what I mean? You know? But yeah, uh, just no like weird links because I got a lot of those in my last video and I'm just kind of weirded out by it. So let's not do that. But anyway, um, I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. And I will See you in my next video.